YouTube launches Search Insights Research tab and Channel Guidelines feature. WhatsApp announces a new Communities feature, which will be an umbrella for various WhatsApp groups. TikTok opens up beta access of its new Effect House AR platform. All this and much more coming up in this week's edition of the Connected Church News with me, Nachi Lazarus. Welcome. This is a show that brings you the top five digital, social and web three news each week in just five minutes. Let's get started. WhatsApp made a big announcement about a new feature called communities that they are bringing to the platform. This is meant to be an umbrella feature that brings together all your WhatsApp groups of your ministry or your nonprofit and help you structure and streamline them. Imagine you have multiple WhatsApp groups, right? Most organizations today have multiple WhatsApp groups that they use for various things. Bringing all of them together in one place, you know, having better administrative capabilities, uh, giving more privacy to users. For example, uh, the announcement says, uh, if you go to the privacy section, you will find that people in your various WhatsApp groups under one community can actually hide their phone number from others except the admin. So things like that. So lots of interesting features uh, are coming to this. The way WhatsApp is thinking about streamlining community uh, you know, management and conversations is uh, very practical. I like a few things about this announcement. We will link to all these details in the show notes. Could be a big thing for your ministry or a church. Do have a look. TikTok announced that they are opening up beta access of their AR creation tool called Effect House to all creators. Augmented reality is a big part of the new popular tools like TikTok and uh, Reels and all the other things. And uh, this Effect House is TikTok's version of already popular Snapchat's uh, Lens Studio tool and Meta's Sparks AR tool. All these tools allow you as a non-profit church or a ministry to create your own effects. So if you want to have something uh, like a frame or some effect that you want your followers to use uh, that is specific to your ministry, then you can do that. So Earlier, this was on closed beta, but now they opened it up to all creators. So uh, it also has some guidelines, community guidelines and effect guidelines and so on. So we will uh, link to an article that has all the details about this so that you can have a look and sign up as a non-profit or a ministry. Meta, the parent company of Facebook, has announced that they have started testing various creator funding programs and tools inside their Metaverse VR platform called Horizon Worlds. So earlier they had announced that they are bringing in a $10 million creator fund uh, just to make sure that more creators are on their platform, creating things, interacting. And when creators come, they bring their followers along with them. So the hope of these uh, initiatives by companies like Meta is to bring more creators to the platform, allowing them to have commerce ability, sell virtual items, link those virtual items to real world programs and various other things. So um, it's, it's, a, it's a trend that is uh, growing very fast and it's very closely connected to other Web3 uh, metaverse trends like NFTs and so on. So I will link to these details. Uh, do have a look and see if this is applicable to anything related to your ministry or your nonprofit as you venture into the Web3 space. Last week, YouTube announced the launch of two important features that have been in testing for a while. First is uh, search insights. This is a tab called research tab that will be inside your YouTube settings that allows you to look at important insights related to search. So you know if you've been doing YouTube for a while how important keyword search is, so keyword research is. So you need to understand what people are searching for, what are your viewers looking for, what are generally people looking for and so on. So this is a tool that's going to help you do that and it has, uh, it has been very popular since the test testing started we actually reported it when they started testing now they've made it available to all creators they say before april all creators will have access to it the next tool that they've launched now is channel guidelines so these are guidelines that you will uh, have for your channel which you can make people agree to and could be very important for a church and a ministry setting Instagram expands the ability for tagging products in your Instagram newsfeed post to all the users in the United States. And uh, this announcement says that you can now just add a post 
and then uh, click tag like you would regularly tag a person or a brand then once you tag the brand you will be able to see the options of uh, tagging a product so the product tag will appear along with the people tag and then you can select that and add a product tag the announcement also ends with one line that says uh, we are also bringing product tagging to stories which is a big deal so two major tagging announcements from instagram those were the top five news items I had for you this week. Hope they were useful. If you like to dig deeper into any of the stories, we've got all the source links and details related to the story in the description section. And if you want more, you can go to our news page, nachilazarus.com slash news, which also has more details, transcripts and all of that stuff. Uh, thank you for spending your precious time with me. If you have any questions or any comments or feedback, or if you want to say something nice to us, or <laughs> if you have any kind of feedback, just leave them in the comment section or or DM me or write to us, email us. You'll know a way to reach me and we'll be happy to hear you and make sure we find the answers for any questions that you ask us. All right, I will see you next week with another set of news items. Until then, you stay connected and stay blessed. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.